my name is Beck, and welcome to a Sydney reading vlog. I've brought Aurora Rising with me by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and I'm only in Sydney for a few days, so I don't know if I will be able to finish it, but I'm just relaxing on this trip rather than sightseeing a whole bunch, so hopefully I'll have a little bit of downtime to read. I am up here with my best friend Em, so you'll probably see a few clips of us just sitting down reading, but it's going to be an amazing trip, so I can't wait to take you along with me. Hello, it's Wednesday and it's around five o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't updated you, but you've probably seen our travels anyway. So we went to Kinokunia bookstore and it's gonna be my new favorite bookstore. Sorry, Melbourne, but it's just too good. And it's comic range and graphic novel range is incredible. Even though I just said it's comic range and graphic novel range is incredible, I got an actual YA book instead. So I got Deviate by J. Kristoff. This is the second book in his Lifelike series and it actually came out yesterday. So I was really gunning to get this while I was up here. I was hoping to start it and finish Aurora Rising, but I think that was a little bit ambitious. Aurora Rising, which is just on the shelf behind me, I got a hundred pages into that one. And I think there's about 400 pages overall in that one. So I'm about a fourth through, which is not that bad considering I haven't really been reading physical books lately but I can't wait to read Deviate after I finish Aurora Rising because obviously Jay Kristoff one of my favorite authors and I did actually get a comic book at Kinokunia as well which was a little bit naughty because I'm supposed to be cutting down on my TBR and now adding this and Deviate I've added two books to my TBR which is a bit bad of me but I don't care I'll get through graphic novels a lot faster so I got Descend Up by Jeff Lemire I think it's just by him Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen so I can't wait to start this one. I read another series by Jeff Lemire. I haven't actually finished it yet, but it's called Sweet Tooth. And that's kind of a dark dystopian and Jeff Lemire drew it himself. But this art style is very different and it's kind of watercolor based and I really, really love it. So I wasn't going to get it, but I had it on my book depository wish list for like ages. And now that I've seen it in store and I got to flick through it and have a look at the pages, I just couldn't help myself and I bought it. So I can't wait to read this one soon. You'll probably see it in a TBR video or maybe a wrap up video if I'm just too keen on reading it before I film anything else. So yes, I got these two lovely books while I was in Sydney and I had an amazing time going around with my best friend. She says that she's been stuffing up my shots, but I think she's just honestly made this vlog a lot more interesting. <laughs> you probably also saw her tattoo. So I'll leave the tattoo details and the parlor details and Em's Instagram, she's an illustrator. I'll leave it all in the description so you can go and check out the places that we've been because I think it was just a really great adventure going around Sydney and I'm really sad that we go home tomorrow. It's been a really short and sweet trip but I've really loved it and I'm definitely going to come back so thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you've been to Sydney or if you want to go please let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!